Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing. If you haven't heard of NFTs yet, you're probably living under a rock. Love them or hate them, I think that this is a technology that will be around for a while. Most NFTs that you've probably seen are profile picture collections like the famous CryptoPunks. But did you know that in fact videos can be turned into NFTs as well? An example of this is the Charlie Bit My Finger video that was one of the most iconic YouTube videos of all time, was recently listed and sold as an NFT, and it sold for like seven or 800,000 dollars but yeah, it just shows that videos can be NFTs and there is a market for them. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a video into an NFT and also how to list it for sale. We're going to be using the Ethereum blockchain today because that is the most popular way to do it. Please note that this is not financial advice. I'm just trying to show you guys how to use this technology, um, but don't take it to the bank. There are so many NFTs being made all the time and most of them never sell. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so for this demonstration, we're going to be using OpenSea. It's the largest NFT marketplace, um, and I think it's the easiest to use and get set up on. OpenSea NFTs use the Ethereum blockchain to verify transfers, um, and because we're using OpenSea, your video needs to meet a certain uh, size and file requirement. So when you go to create a new asset, um, you'll see that it has to be, for video specifically, an MP4 file. So if you have an MOV file or another type of video file, um, it will not work. And so you need to convert it into an MP4 and perhaps also shrink it down to below 100 megabits as well. So if you need to do this, you can go to our free online video editor. You can click the first link in the description. It'll take you to kapwing.com and then you can upload your video. So I'm going to upload just this video um, of some dogs playing. It's an MOV file that I want to turn into an MP4. So while I'm here, um, this is a full studio editor. So I can, you know, trim, I can add music and add text, I can add images. But the reason that you're gonna wanna do this is because Kapwing exports in MP4 and also the file sizes after export tend to be somewhat smaller. Um, which is good. So I'm just going to click the export video button and then it will process. And then when it's done, you can click the download button and you will have the MP4. Okay, so now once that is done, you're ready to move to the next step. So the next step before you head over to OpenSea and can do this, you need to set up a MetaMask account. If you don't know what MetaMask is, um, it is an Ethereum wallet that lives within your browser. So it's a browser extension. And it's really useful because it can connect to compatible websites like OpenSea um, and connect your Ethereum address to these websites so it can verify um, everything that's in your wallet. So that includes Ethereum, that includes NFTs, um, as well as some other tokens as well. So you'll just go to metamask.io um, and then you can click the download button and then you're gonna wanna set up an account through MetaMask. I already have it and you can see it in my browser right here. Um, and when I open it, this is my MetaMask account. It is on the Ethereum mainnet. This is my Ethereum address. So to get the ETH in here, you have to use an exchange. Uh, the most popular one is Coinbase, but you can use any exchange that you would like. And you're just going to want to probably set up your bank account to your Coinbase account and then buy Ethereum through that. And you need Ethereum because of gas fees. So do your own research on how you want to get your Ethereum to your MetaMask. Um, but you're probably going to want to buy hundreds of dollars of ETH, at least a few hundred at least, just to list um, an NFT. And that is because of ETH gas fees. If you haven't heard of ETH gas fees, um, it is a portion of ETH that you pay in order to process purchases um, and process transactions to the blockchain. And because of the price of ETH, which you can see here, has been like exponentially growing, hitting all time highs. So there's a ton of activity right now on Ethereum and that is making gas fees really high, which you can see here. MetaMask will always warn you about the estimated amount that it's gonna charge you in gas, um, but you're gonna to wanna to buy you know, a few hundred dollars at least. A lot of times through Coinbase, you have to wait several days in order to withdraw your ETH from Coinbase into another wallet because they want to check and make sure that you have your money in your bank account that you're pulling into Coinbase um, first before you are allowed to move your money out. So there's only so much you can do about that. So I recommend funding your ETH into your MetaMask early um, so that when you are ready to withdraw your ETH, you are able to do that. 
So then you will just send your Ethereum. You can withdraw to this address in your MetaMask obviously specific to you, not mine. Okay, so then you finally have everything ready to go. So you're going to open OpenSea. I believe you don't actually like make an OpenSea account. You just connect your MetaMask. I'm already um, connected. So then you're going to go to the create button. And then here is where you're able to upload your files. So I'm going to upload this video that we just downloaded um, of these doggies playing. And then it's also asking because it's a video to put on a preview image. So this is pretty much like the thumbnail for a YouTube video. So I am just going to use like a screenshot from it. You are also able to, of course, uh, you know, make your own and design your own, which you also can do on Kapwing, our free online editor. So once that's done, you're going to type in the name. So I'm just going to say dogs playing. You're able to put in um, a website as well if you would like here. Then you can add a description and you can just go through these by yourself. So then you are going to want to click create. So if you just wanna have this like in your own wallet and you're not actually trying to sell it, you don't have to pay anything. So here it is, here is my NFT. If you want, you can stop there. However, if you do want to list it, what you're going to want to do is click the sell button. If this is your first time listing, on OpenSea, then it's going to cost you, so you actually have to set up like an initiation gas fee um, to connect your account to sell on the blockchain. And I think it actually might even be two gas fees, which is why I warned you to get a few hundred dollars worth of Ethereum as gas. I've already done that, so I don't have to do that. Um, but just be aware that you will probably have this extra step. So then you're able to list your project. So you can do one of two things. You can do a fixed price. So the fixed price is an option where you will pretty much be able to buy now or people will be able to buy now. Timed auction is um, a sell to the highest bidder type of thing. Um, and they will be bidding in something called wrapped Ethereum or WEF, which is like an extra step. So I probably would just do the fixed price. That's just what most people tend to sell as. You can also sell as a bundle if you have several NFTs that you're trying to sell at the same time by clicking this. Um, you can reserve for a specific buyer. So if you have one person you're trying to make a deal with, you can choose that. So listing the NFT actually is free on OpenSea, um, which you can see here. But once sold, the following fee will be deducted 2.5%. Um, so just keep that in mind. So then you can click complete listing. So then it will open up your MetaMask and then you can sign in and complete the listing. I'm going to stop here because if I list and then I try and delete this, it actually costs money to delist because it's already on the Ethereum blockchain. And then it will be posted um, on the blockchain. You can see it on your accounts and also go to the explore page. And now you will be one of the 23,801,982 NFTs for sale on OpenSea. You can see that there are lots of them. And your item will also be searchable um, through the search bar as well. And then if someone does buy your NFT, then it will automatically send the money right into your MetaMask account that is linked. All right, guys, that is about it. I know this can be a lot of information. So if this is your first exposure to NFTs, then there are tons of tutorials on YouTube or in blog posts or all over the internet about each individual step. So I'm sorry if I missed something, but I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have an NFT or what your thoughts are about NFTs. I know a lot of people hate them. I know a lot of people think they're really cool. I would love to know what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to join an online community of modern creators and also join our Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.